in how far those sounds and the shaking could travel. Yeah, and sometimes if these things happen at night and we have the right kind of atmospheric conditions, they can kind of bounce off of an invisible layer in the atmosphere and oh. it just spreads even further. So I hmm. think something kind of happened like that today. Very stable, very calm environment, which is what we have. And that's why it's beautiful out there today. Here's a photo from Cedar Mountain um, from La Grande Lyman. We have beautiful fall colors peeking through there. And they had a few cloud coverage, kind of or some clouds passing by. Uh, here's how our fall foliage is playing out. We are at peak for Cascade Spring. Guardsman Pass, and even Bryant Head. So with this beautiful fall weather that we have, take advantage of these locations this weekend because they are at peak, and then a few other spots here in the yellow are nearing their peak. Here's how skies are looking right now at Heber City. Plenty of sunshine out there. It is 77 degrees in Salt Lake, 74 in Provo, 84 in Moab, 76 in Cedar City, and 87 in St. George. Really, the entire state is dry and quiet with the exception of an isolated shower there just in parts of uh, Tooele County. So the precipitation that we see off towards our west is associated with this low pressure system that's right along the coast of California. Over the next couple of days, it's going to pass through northern Arizona, then lift up into Colorado. And it is going to bring southern Utah a few rain chances. So with that being said, as this low pressure system gets closer to Arizona tomorrow night, we could see an isolated shower in the southwestern corner in the afternoon of Utah. But then in the evening, it looks like a little bit more moisture. So we, we're going to keep scattered showers in the forecast. Not a lot of rainfall is going to fall with any showers or storms that develop. Then as we head into Saturday, this low will move into eastern Arizona, kind of beginning to climb into southeastern Utah, and we'll see better chances for scattered showers and storms in the southeastern part of the state and even up into our central mountains and the Uintas. Then by Sunday, it looks like it's just off towards our east enough where we'll be mostly dry, but we'll keep an isolated shower chance for the higher terrain of central Utah and even the Uintas. But nonetheless, it looks mostly dry in northern Utah is going to stay dry for the next several days. We have highs in the upper 70s on Friday and Saturday for northern Utah, just adding a few clouds on Saturday, then falling into the mid 70s on Sunday. Just as that low pressure system gets out of here to our east, we'll have winds come in from the north, so we'll just drop a degree or two. So central Utah tomorrow, beautiful forecast, upper 70s, mostly to partly sunny skies. Southern Utah, more clouds in the southwestern corner with that isolated shower chance in the afternoon. Scattered showers possible in the evening. And then the further east you go, the drier it gets, so you have more sunshine. St. George will be in the mid-80s both today or tomorrow and Saturday, then climbing into the low 90s from Sunday through maybe the middle parts of next week. Northern Utah, we have the upper 70s in Cache Valley, as well as West Valley near 80 in Spanish Fork with mostly sunny skies. Similar forecast for the Wasatch Front, pretty similar to today as well, just a little bit warmer and actually seasonable for this time of year. We'll start off in the low to mid-50s the next several mornings, Falling into the mid-70s on Sunday, staying that way on Monday. Then, as high pressure builds back in, we have a little bit of a warm-up at the end of the seven-day forecast. So the 80s are back. So It just keeps getting better each day that goes along. I know, a nice little dip of fall, then back to yeah. a little light summer. So nice spread okay, here. Nice work, Devin. Just keep oh, it going. Welcome, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Sam, for runs, the north comes now from the Kearns Ice.